what are the reason behind the kidney shrinkage why this kidney shrinkage is happening as the size of the kidney shrinks that means the kidney is not able to perform that means the patient doesn't need any kind of dialysis any kind of transplant hello friends my name is dr puru dhawan and in this video we will talk about kidney shrinkage and we will learn why the kidney shrinkage happens what are the reason behind the kidney shrinkage and the why level of creatinine urea potassium increases when the kidney shrinks and how we can control this shrinkage and how we can control creatinine level urea level potassium level in a patient of kidney shrinkage kidney shrinkage is a thing which is getting very common in a kidney failure patient almost 40% patient who comes to the science engineering with the complaint of kidney failures are the patient who have kidney shrinkage and they doesn't know why this kidney shrinkage is happening let me make you understand our normal blood pressure is 120 upon 80 mm of hg that means that is our normal blood pressure level suppose your level is elevated to 120 or 130 90 or 95 so when the heart beat what happens when the this high blood pressure blood enters your the kidney it cause constant collision with the vessels providing blood to your kidney and because of constant collision to the wall of vessels what happens the hardening of the tissue happens because of hardening and we can see shrinkage in the lumen size the lumen of the suppose this is the lumen of uh, artery and the vessels providing blood to the uh, kidney and when the blood enters it make collision to the walls and when the collision happens the tissue around here become hard and when it become hard the size of the lumen decreases as it decreases the blood supply to the kidney also decrease and because of insufficient amount of blood insufficient amount of nutrition insufficient amount of oxygen the size of the kidney also shrinks and there the problem start as the size of the kidney shrinks that means the kidney is not able to perform its function and the kidney's function is to filter blood and make all the waste material out from the body and when the kidney function loses the level of kidney urea potassium start increasing and that cause lots of trouble for a kidney failure patient because all these things are waste material and when they get accumulated in our body it makes symptoms and the symptoms depend what kind of waste material is accumulated in your body suppose large amount of urea is accumulated in your body because of loss of function of the kidney because of shrinkage what will happen that because of urea you will feel nausea you will feel vomiting you will feel headache or fatigue these are symptom which is caused by urea alone suppose if the level of creatinine increases so the symptom will be uh, muscle cramp and uh, rashes skin itching this will be the symptom when the uh, large amount of creatinine get accumulated in your body so it depends what kind of waste material is accumulated in your body now let's come to the management part of kidney shrinkage in a patient of kidney shrinkage the main problem is not the kidney the main problem is high blood pressure if we maintain the blood pressure in a right amount what will happen the further damage to the kidney will be stopped so we first thing what we do at science engineering is that we will bring your blood pressure to the normal level i know lots of patients having kidney shrinkage already are taking lots of medicines for their blood pressure and i know even after taking those medicines the blood pressure is still high so our first motto for next 7 days after the treatment started will be to make the blood pressure in the right amount so that the further damage can be stopped as a further damage to the kidney stops what happens the level of kidney in urea potassium becomes stable they don't rise too much so first thing is to make the progression of the disease at stable point second thing is that as our kidney has a uh, natural ability to increase its function i give you an example suppose one person has donated its kidney to another person now the person who is the donor have only one kidney and even on the single kidney where the function of the body uh, function of the kidney decreases by 50% the level of kidney level of urea level of potassium doesn't rise the question arises why because kidney has a function to increase its function even with the 50% availability so we will use that function of the kidney that power of the kidney that natural power of the kidney to excrete out all the waste material from the body and this thing only happens in a healthy body suppose your level of kidney is okay and urea is okay your blood pressure is okay then kidney will support the medicine as the medicine get administered in the body the kidney starts is functioning much better than before and as kidney starts working better what will happen a kidney will able to excrete out creatinine urea and potassium from the body so your level of kidney will fall your level of urea will fall your level of potassium also fall as the progress 
progression of the disease has been stopped and the level of creatinine in urea is in control that means that that person that patient doesn't need any kind of dialysis or transplant because we all know that once the kidney failure starts its end is ultimate leads to you to get dialysis or transplant so we have to avoid all these procedures for that purpose we have to stop the progression of the disease and once the progression of the disease has been stopped the next step is to increase the kidney output so that the kidney and urea level can be easily controlled in a kidney shrinkage patient what is happening is that because of non-functioning and low functioning of the kidney waste metal is getting accumulated in the body now we can manage this waste metal by two way what we can do is that we can decrease the formation of the waste metal in the body with the help of diet. And second thing is what we can do is that we can increase the kidney output so that the waste metal can be easily excreted out from the body. So in diet, we have to take care of those things which produces creatinine. So suppose a kidney failure patient is having high kidney level and it takes large amount of protein in daily diet. What happens? Because of this large amount of protein, lots of waste metal is generated in the body and because of non function is not getting excreted out so if a patient take large amount of protein like fish chicken mutton pulses and other kind of uh, milk products dairy products what will happen the amount of creatinine will increase so we have to cut down that supply of creatinine in the body we have to cut down the amount of protein we have to go for carbs because carb is a smaller molecule and when the body needs protein what the body do is that body makes a small molecule together and make a large molecule of protein so we can convert carbohydrates into protein in our body but if we take a large molecule of protein what will happen it will be break down in the body to get it energy from it and because of this uh, breaking down of protein in body it will create lots of waste material which we don't need which will create kidney which will create urea so we don't need that thing so we will cut down the amount of protein what we take in the kidney failure patient. Now understand creatinine. Creatinine is a type of waste metal. It's a type of protein which is excreted out by the muscles during its metabolism. So if a kidney failure patient do lots of vigorous exercise like running, swimming, jogging, what will happen because of increased metabolism of muscles, the production of creatinine will also increase and we don't need that kind of creatinine in our patient. So we have to cut down all kind of vigorous exercise so that the creatinine production can be easily controlled. Second thing is that if we suffer from fever, if we suffer from any kind of shivering, also muscles produces lots of amount of creatinine. So we have to avoid fever, we have to avoid cold weather, we have to avoid shivering, we have to avoid fatigue. So if a patient is suffering from kidney failure, all this is advised to go for exercise like Anulom Vilom, Parayam, Kapal Bhati and deep breathing. Because if a patient take breath breathing, what happens because of oxygen the blood becomes much more oxygen rich and because of rich amount of oxygen present in the blood it will help body to break down the waste metal in the body so it's like burning waste metal inside the body breaking down the waste metal inside the body so you can go for any kind of aerobic exercises like stretching yoga and anulom vilom prayam kapal pati and deep breathing you can also do walk to four to five kilometer up to you but make sure you don't get fatigue you don't get tired during that exercise and walk in a patient of kidney shrinkage one of the most dangerous thing can happen is a heart attack and this heart attack is caused by high level of potassium so it's very important for our kidney shrinkage patients to understand from where the potassium comes in the body and how we can manage potassium with the help of diet. So let me make you understand how we can control potassium in a patient of kidney shrinkage. So potassium comes in each and every food item what we eat. Either we eat vegetables, fruits and bread everything contains potassium now to control the level of potassium in a kidney shrinkage patient we have to take care of the food we have to select those food items that contains potassium in low amount. for that we have to separate low potassium food from high potassium food for that i will give you very simple rule that will help you to select low potassium food items so let's move to the vegetable in case of vegetable we have to avoid all kind of rooty vegetables and leafy vegetable rooty vegetable like potato sweet potato and your turnip all these vegetables are grown below the surface of earth so we have to avoid all the vegetables which are grown below the surface of earth and we have to avoid all kind of leafy vegetables leafy vegetable like spinach mustard coriander mint we have to avoid all these vegetables because they contain potassium in high amount we have to select those vegetables which are grown as a fruit on a plant or a creeper like uh, round ground bitter ground and snake ground 
and uh, brinjal, okra, all these vegetables are grown as a fruit. So we can take these vegetables because they are low in potassium. And you can take any vegetable which is available in your area which is grown on a plant or caper. And you can do also one thing. You can search for the potassium content on Google. So suppose you are looking for potassium content in tomato. So search tomato potassium content. And if the value comes as 150 milligram per 100 gram, that means that is low potassium vegetable. So any value which is under 150 will be considered as a low potassium vegetable. So it's very easy for every kidney failure patient to search the potassium values uh, on Google. So Google it and search what is our potassium level and eat accordingly now let's move to the fruits in case of fruits we have to avoid banana kiwi avocado dry fruits dates and coconut if you avoid all these fruits rest fruits can be taken but portion size is fixed you can only take one cup of fruit suppose you want to take papaya so one cup of papaya and suppose if you want to take apple so one apple because it's a similar amount of portion size of one cup and if you want to take pineapple, one cup of a pineapple, or you can take two chiku and uh, one cup of grapes. So it's around one cup. So make sure you take fruits only in the amount which is prescribed to you. Don't take over amount of fruits because it will create potassium in your body. For detailed and deep knowledge of diet for a kidney failure patient, I will give you a video link at the end of the video. Now let's come back to the kidney shrinkage and see how we can increase our kidney function so that we can excrete out all the creatinine and urea from the body. As I told you earlier, kidney has a function. Kidney has an ability. Kidney has a natural ability to increase its function. What we have to do, we have to push that kidney. Suppose your kidney level is 3, 4, 5, 6. That doesn't mean your kidney is not performing. They are performing, but they are performing with low performance. So we have to increase that performance. We have to use that natural ability of kidney to increase its function. So with the help of right medicines and right diet, we can easily control, we can easily improve the function of the kidney. And as the function of the kidney increases, kidney will excrete out creatinine urea easily from the body and the level of creatinine urea will come up to its limit. Now I will show you few medical reports of my patient that will help you to understand what we do at Science and GP. I hope it's very much clear to you with the help of right diet, right exercise and right treatment you can control the progression of the disease, you can stop that progression of kidney shrinkage, you can control the level of creatinine urea in your body. Now if you have any kind of doubt you can simply ask on the number given below, you can also visit our website psychindica.com for further information, you can also book an appointment with me on the same number. With this allow me to say goodbye, see you in the next video, till then bye bye.